Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin on Friday, March the 26th. I'm Graham Brown. The Islamic Bank of Britain, which is based in Birmingham, has revealed a rise in losses this morning. We've given a lot of column inches to Islamic banking, which is seen as a huge opportunity for the city, but its annual results today show that the bank is struggling alongside the rest of the sector. The bank made a loss of £9.5 million compared to £5.9 million in 2008. It's also revealed that it might be forced into cutbacks if tough conditions continue. The bank's currently in talks about raising more funds, but its chairman warned that they might have to take action if negotiations were unsuccessful. You can read more about this story elsewhere on BirminghamPost.net. In other news, a lawyer has stood down from his position at a prominent city chambers after the Birmingham Post revealed that he was to stand as a candidate for the BNP in the region. We revealed in our latest edition that Robert Grierson would stand for the far-right party in Sutton Coalfield. And with 20, within 24 hours of going to print, the barrister revealed that he was stepping down from his position as door tenant at the St Philip's Chambers in the city centre. Elsewhere, National Lottery owner Camelot has been sold to a Canadian teacher's pension fund for £389 million. The company is currently owned by a consortium including Cadbury, but it will be sold if the regulator, the National Lottery Commission, gives the deal the go-ahead. And British Airways Chief Executive Willie Walsh has insisted that travel perks will never be given back to striking cabin crew members. With the second strike due to start at midnight tonight, the airline bus also said that there were no plans for talks with the Unite Union. That's all for me today. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend and join us again on Monday for more breaking business news. Wow.